the, the, I don't understand the word few. Um, <laughs> so, uh, greetings to all Rotarians and friends that are joining us today through the miracle of technology. So before I begin, permit me a short political message. <clears throat> From here in Seattle, I would like to start off with a short humorous story. You are no doubt aware that in the United States, we are dealing with incompetent leadership in government. This lack of intelligent leadership has sadly resulted in the death of 125,000 people. With that in mind, and now having been self-quarantined in my apartment for the past three months, I simply cannot think of a single humorous thing to say. My mind can only dream. And foremost in my dreams is to someday to return to you, my island friends and our beautiful island of Taviuni. So now let us get down to today's Rotary Club business. <clears throat> During these past unique and most interesting 12 months, I have enjoyed the distinct pleasure to serve as our club president. We faced a number of diverse challenges from the start, yet proved with a team effort we have the ability to overcome. Sadly, however, because of my present health condition, I was not able to, to contribute physically to our Rotary projects. Yet with the time commitments and leadership from other club members, this past year resulted in one of success. This is something that every member should take great pride. The Taviuni I project was once again tremendously successful, its 14th consecutive year. Various upgrading projects at several Ireland schools were beautifully coordinated with top-notch results. And thanks to the many of you for beautifying the airfield generator building. And of course, we cannot forget our student scholarship program, which has continued to grow and proved to be tremendously successful. Although these successes resulted from the efforts of all members, I feel compelled to personally thank several specific persons for their tremendous time-consuming contributions. Namely, Peter, Gary, Lorraine, Michael, and most importantly, Helen. Thank you, Helen, for without your dedication, our club would certainly have had a difficult time staying so beautifully organized this past year. <clears throat> and another special thanks is due to our in-house professional webmaster, Paul Purvis, for constructing and maintaining our top-notch Taviuni Rotary Club website. Um, as for our newest members, Nas and Paulo, Paula, I must thank you both for committing yourselves right from the start and becoming dedicated, productive members of our club. You are greatly appreciated. I am excited in that Paul Purvis will be assuming leadership of the club and combined with Helen's continued involvement, I feel most confident that our Rotary Club of Taviuni will continue to shine. <clears throat> Yet success can only be accomplished with the involvement of all members acting and working together as a team. Thank you, Rotary. Thank you, fellow Taviuni Rotarians. As a team, we shall continue to better the life and lifestyle of all Taviuni. Before I wrap this up, I would like everyone to please join me in singing happy birthday to Paul Purvis, as he has a big, big one coming up in a few days. Please, everyone, let's sing. Paula, I've heard you sing, so will you please start it off? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Come on, let's go, guys. Happy birthday, dear Paul. Happy birthday to you. you. Thank you. Thank you.
you, everybody. Okay, and now I would like to pass the gavel onto my friend, my neighbor, and your upcoming president, Paul Purvis. And here is the only gavel I got. It's made by Stanley. And uh, Paul, I will leave this on to you. And uh, I know I'm looking forward to a wonderful year as you're leading the club. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Gordon, and we also welcome the presence of uh, Mr. and Mrs. Prasad, Michael and Gita, with us uh, this afternoon. They have just arrived and joining us today on this auspicious occasion. And we also uh, would like to hand over the time now to uh, Mr. Paul Purvis. Thank you. Um, good afternoon, everybody. President and Bob, uh, members of the Rotary Club of Tavi Uni. Uh, distinguished guests from the US, from New Zealand and Australia, and other guests at the Helen and Peter's beautiful home at Mate Point. It's my great pleasure to now present uh, past president Bob with his past president's pen. And uh, I'm going to do this virtually, and let's hope that we, this will work according to the plan. So um, there it is. And I hope he enjoys wearing it. And we thank him very much for his service through the whole year. Thank you. It's been my pleasure. I just wish I could have done more. Well, may he wear the badge with pride in his many years to come as a member of our club. Uh, I have another important matter to attend to. Um, the club has decided to award past President Bob with the highest honor that it can be awarded to a member of Rotary Club at club level. Uh, if Bob were physically with us today, I'd ask him to step forward to receive his Paul Harris Fellowship Badge and Certificate. Well done, Bob. Thank you very much. That means very much to me, a lot. I, I cherish so. it, thank I you. So. I can't tell you how thrilled and unhappy, really, I am to be with you today. I'm thrilled that you've chosen me to be your president for 2020-2021, but I'm disappointed that I'm unable to be with you in person for the changeover and what will be a pretty fantastic party afterwards. I want to pay particular respect to Bob Goddess. He's fulfilled the most difficult of jobs for much of the year from his apartment in Seattle. What was a routine holiday has turned into rather a nightmare. Apart from his health issues, it's hard to manage the affairs of the Rotary Club of Tabby Uni from afar. Fortunately, he is encyclopedic knowledge of the names and contact details of the people that matter in Tabby Uni and across Fiji has served him well. And behind every Rotary president, of course, there is a great secretary. Tabby Uni happens to have found one of the best, and I don't say that lightly. Helen manages our affairs with calmness and efficiency how she manages to find time to get on with living in the finest environment in the world as well is quite beyond me. Our Rotary Club is blessed with a remarkable list of, list of opportunities to improve the lives of Tabby Unions. Just when we think we're making progress, along comes another cyclone. Our two major projects, the world famous Rotary Eye Project and the Tabby Uni School Scholarship Program keep us busy all year. With the help of funding from Rotary Clubs in New Zealand and Australia, and of course, the Rotary Foundation, we managed to make both ends meet. We are concerned about the future funding stream from New Zealand and the global grant from the Rotary Foundation, and we will be focusing on these matters throughout the year. With help from District Governor Craig Horrocks in New Zealand, Area Governor Benita Nand, and Past President Peter Malden from the Rotary Club of Baronia in Australia, and of course, a valued honorary member of the Rotary Club of Tabby Uni, we hope to carry on the great work that Tabby Uni Rotary uh, is renowned for throughout the Pacific. Our continuing treasurer and all round great Rotarian Michael Prasad is very aware of the difficulties the future holds. And we all thank Michael for his years of service and fulfilling a job that I doubt any other member would dare to tackle. This next Rotary year holds many promises, not the least of which is good fellowship. The, ha the happy occasion a couple of weeks back when members and other locals came together 
for a clean up of Prince Charles Beach shows us how to put hard work and fun together. We'll repeat these moments up and down the island. Rotary opens opportunities for Fijians and we want to open doors for as many as want to join us. Like every other Rotary Club in our district, my aim is to add quality members to the club. We might be doing this via the Rotaract channel, so highly recommended by District 9920, and much more about that later. There's nothing I like more than a good party, and I've been told by Helen that the changeover party you're all about to enjoy uh, will be lots of fun. How Pamela and I wish we were both there. And Pamela and I want to thank the Browns for making their beautiful home available for tonight's function. Finally, uh, all some people want for Christmas is their two front teeth, so the saying goes. All Pamela and I want to be is back with you to enjoy your company. Clean ticket. To steer the good ship Tab Uni Rotary and to enjoy all that, that wonderful island has to offer. Thank you again for entrusting me as president. I'll not let you down. Thank you, Paul. Now we turn your head over the time to Miss Helen Brown. Thank you. Paul. Thank you, Paul. I, <laughs> I, the, the presentation to um, Bob seemed to have just slipped under the door. <laughs> my, my short speech got, <laughs> got forgotten. But I would like to say this, uh, the presentation of a Paul Harris recognition is the Rotary Foundation's way and the Rotary Club of Ted Uni's way of expressing its appreciation for the contribution carried by this member. It is named after our founder, Paul Harris, a Chicago lawyer who started Rotary International with three business associates back in 1905. Today, we welcome Bob Goddess as he becomes a Paul Harris Fellow. Bob, a member since the club started 18 years ago, a keen and active supporter of the scholarship program, which provides funding to hundreds of children who would otherwise struggle to continue attending school, a proactive fundraiser to assist our members. In becoming a Paul Harris Fellow, Bob joins a remarkable company of persons throughout the world, all recognized for their contribution. It is the goal of Rotarians the world over and one that we all share. It gives me great pleasure, Bob, to present you with the emblems of appreciation given to a Paul Harris Fellow. So we have for you a certificate. And if we can mail it, uh, we'll mail it to you, a lovely certificate and a pin um, for you. Congratulations, Bob. And thank you for your continued commitment to the programs of Rotary and the Rotary Foundation. Thank you, Paul, also <laughs> for, the, for the photos. <laughs> I, I, if I could just say a quick word, hold the pin, everything else for when I get to Fiji. Because that's where I want to I wanna keep all of this. And um, if you mail it to me here, I'm just going to bring it back to the island. And I must say that my father, you know, was a Paul Harris uh, recipient also. And he was the man that originally started our club. So uh, uh, this award means a lot to me. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. To our new Paul Harris. Can't hear. All right. Uh, we've now reached um, the point where we're going to induct our new member this afternoon. So I would like to call upon Mr. Peter Brown and <coughs> Terry Cotton to please come up. Yes, if we can just help hold for one minute, Karen. <coughs> I know you weren't aware this was going to happen, <coughs> which is the way we work. But I would just mention something, Bob, if you're still there. For some yep. reason, your camera is not facing towards you. Um, but um, I would it's mention... not what? Yeah, you're, you're right behind the line of photos down the side. We can see half... Ah! Oh, yeah, that's it. There you go. Oh, it's oh. you. <laughs> yeah. I was only half here. 
<laughs> um, something that I would mention, but I think it should make us all very proud in this very small club that seems to do extraordinary things way above its, the size of the club. Um, this, this past year, a member of this club was nominated by our last district governor to be um, Rotarian of the Year. And that member is sitting in the front row. Yeah, that's good. Oh. Was made nominated. Probably it would appear did not was not successful in that nomination, but that's an extraordinary effort. Um, that, that huge amount of hard work that Michael has done um, has come to the attention of the district governor and they've, and various others at district level and they've looked at it and written a submission. So well done, Michael. Thank you for the amazing. Well done, Michael. Yes. Now, I need your help, Terry. Mm -hmm. Yes, somewhere. That side seems to be too bright. Um, <clears throat> we can't see Terry. Uh, right. There you are. Can you see Terry now? Oh, yeah. I, don't, I see half her head. It's a trick. Um, we face backs to the, the Rotarians here. But, um, look, I, for, for reasons I don't understand, I've been asked to, um, to induce, um, no, induct. induct <laughs> or, um, <laughs> to induce her into an extraordinary club uh, to a, a remarkable organisation that I have been involved in for well over 20 years now and I still think it is just the most amazing organisation that I've ever come across. A service club that has such an, um, a remarkable reputation around the world. Um, it's, it's never tripped up, it's never made any um, and mistakes. It's only ever been there to help other people. And we are very lucky to have a, a new young member come <laughs> to our club um, who's very enthusiastic about being, being a volunteer. And I think that's what's in pretty much every, every Rotarian's heart. They want to be a volunteer. They want to help. So, Terry, we are very fortunate and very lucky that you're prepared to drive halfway around Fiji <laughs> to get up here to meetings. Um, but I think part of it came about because we were prepared to move meetings halfway down the island. And that seemed to be a really good move. We'll do that again soon. Um, but at this stage, uh, we have gained a new member. Uh, a wonderful new member that drives all the way up here to clean up a whole lot of trash that Prince Charles should have cleaned up himself. But anyway, um, so, Terry, this is the badge in our normal way. I'd love to put this on, but I'll only Careful. get it. And we'll get it later. Um, that's your free certificate. Here is a book that sets out a lot of information about Rotary. I was hoping you'd have a T-shirt so that we could just swap over. But anyway. <laughs> 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 you have a Michael at a fundraiser one night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, welcome to a fantastic organisation, and you've got lots of good ideas for our club. Uh, I'm very excited to be part of this club and just to help, just to be the the person down the south that can uh, assist. Uh, if you need anything at all, please just, just let me know. And I do have a few different ideas, but I'll be very quiet, quietly uh, suggest them. I won't be too <laughs> but, uh, I'm very excited to be part of um, Rotary. I would just like to, to brag a little bit as well. Um, Alan and I actually have a, uh, a full parish team as well. Because, uh, we got that from the Rotary uh, Club of... Um, Redondo Beach because we uh, we assist them with their fundraisers. So um, we're in the club, Bob. <laughs> 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 so, 
So I'm very excited to be part of the class. Thank you so much for Terrific. Hey, yay! Hey. Hey. Brown, thank you so much, Terry. Uh, we would like to call upon Mr. Brown again to actually round off uh, the meeting that we have for today. Oh, oh, oh okay. Oh, sorry, Mr. Paul Purvis. Yes. Thank you, Paula. <laughs> well, what a uh, what a splendid occasion this has been. Uh, the technology held up, which is just wonderful. Um, it's so good to see all your faces. It just makes me even more keen to return. Uh, nice to see you, Ronna, and uh, of course, Byron. Very nice to see you all. And uh, I do hope you have the most fantastic party, and I look forward to seeing you all at the first Rotary meeting in a couple of weeks' time. Watch your emails. Thank you, everybody. Have a great afternoon. Bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Miss you. Miss you all. <laughs> Yeah,